damn it. I can't get stuck on the stairs again. Okay, I, st I was going to start out this, this video by going into the door, and then I was walking up the stairs, and he got, like, stuck on this corner, and now I can't do it again, and I'm sad. Oh, there we go. Had it for a second. Whatever. Anyways. Um... Let's go back up to the top of the steeple, I suppose. Also, uh, I may have made, may have not made this clear. Um, in the last video, I was just like, like you should tell me if I'm gonna be, uh, if I should do the jump man strategy and stuff. Um, like just tell me what you think about that. Uh, obviously, that's not gonna take effect in this video because. Uh, first of all, it's being recorded like five minutes after the last one was, and secondly, I can't actually go back to get that badge. I think I need to move it up. So let me do that. It's a shame that this chapter is so repetitive, because I do like the concept of it, but, uh, yeah. It also seems really short. I feel like, what is this, the fourth video of this chapter, and it's already going to be over, I think? And a fair amount of that was random backtracking and stuff that didn't really need to be seen. I don't know. <clears throat> Third or fourth, it definitely hasn't been very long. So, up we go. Derp -a -derp -a -derp. Derp -a -derp -a -derp. Garlic sandwich. Like when her body just stretches down 900 feet. Hey, you again, eh, Slick? You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine, I see, I get it. Let's just put an end to this, shall we? All right, kids, put on your fighting gloves. Oh, I mean, uh, let's see here. Woo-hoo, it's a me. Sure thing, Mario. We're right there with you. This creep couldn't take us on his own, so he teamed up with the Shadow Siren. Well, we're certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzales-style, Shadow Guy. We all instantly believe you. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? Wait, do they not notice that he's just suddenly talking all of a sudden? Because I don't think he did before. Mario. The guy who stole your name and body is Mario. That means you're Mario? No. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario, I feel like an idiot. What's going on here, huh? Fight with Dr. Girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us ghoulies. Now see, they should know that uh, something is going on, because now they're on the right side of the screen. I'm still not being paid enough to laugh like this. See, your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario. Oh wait, Vivian buggered off? I didn't realize that. Okay, um... Well, time to go through and systematically defeat every one of my partners for no reason. Because, uh, and fail the timing of the jump, apparently. Alright, so, yeah. I could just attack Duplis, but I won't, because I'm dumb. I don't know, every time I do this fight, I always do it this way. It's, uh, I don't know if you get more experience out of it. I guess I'll find out after I beat Goombella. I I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. I've I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back. Okay. That's nice. Alright, so... Um, I guess I could do Fire Drive. No real reason for me to do that, but I will, because I'm stupid. I realized also, just two seconds after I did that, that's somewhat redundant, because uh, Shade Fist already causes the fire damage. Oh, there goes one. Mario, I totally failed you. Uh? 
That's it, just, ugh. Too bad you can't tattle your partners. I'm not sure what that would actually involve. Probably nothing that interesting, honestly. So yeah, this is just kind of my uh, revenge on them for being dipshits and instantly believing this guy. Because I don't remember if there's any dialogue later that... Uh, oh, there we go. Well, I've at least gotten one bingo on screen. Still don't know if I've done others. But uh, I want to say there is dialogue later where they're just like, we were kind of stupid and I'm not sure why we believed you. But if there isn't, there definitely should be. <coughs> Mario, uh. So yeah, not the most interesting battle. It kind of is because you're fighting yourself, but uh, Super Mario RPG did it first with Bellum. Total rip off, God. Oh jeez. Okay. Um. Do I actually even have any healing items? HP drain. Um. Eh. I don't know how much that's gonna heal. I'm just gonna go for speed trade. <coughs> so yeah. Um. After this one, I guess we're gonna be. Just doing the usual cleanup section, which, uh, depending on how useless the, uh, the jobs are, can be kind of entertaining. I don't know, that last time with the, uh, giant pile of underwear and the utter uselessness that was the, uh, hot dog mission was pretty great, I have to admit, in retrospect. It was awful, but it was funny. I should probably put him in the back. <clears throat> I really don't want to use Sweet Treat on every turn, so I'm going to try that HP suck thing and see how much it gives you. Again, battle could have been over a long time ago, but I'm doing this the long and stupid way. Oh, come on. And Shy Guy ruins everything. And now he's electrified. Good. You can steal my body, but you are not going to steal my Zap Tap badge. That's just not fair. So, uh, I guess we get to sit through Sweet Trade again here. So since nothing else is going on here, I will randomly talk about a customer I had yesterday, because it was pretty bad. Um, so the call starts out with, uh, it was being transferred from another department, I don't remember which one, and uh, they basically said, like, TV's not working, I don't know what the specific problem is, I asked a few questions, but it's not really the kind of thing I handle, I'm like, okay, whatever. But, uh, so they transfer me over, and I talk to the guy, and I'm just like, so I need to know, I couldn't tell what they were throwing, I had to wait until the last second there. Um, I'm like, I need to know what's happening, so do you have an error message up on the screen? And he's just like, sir, you have got to be kidding me. Please tell me you are kidding me. I'm like, no, I'm not, I don't know what the problem is, and I do want to help you, but I don't know what I need to do. He's like, I spent two hours going, like, I don't think it was actually two hours, but he was, like, the most overdramatic guy, and, um, I find out later that there was kind of a good reason for this. I obviously don't know the full situation, but I think he was, like, I, I, don't, I don't know what the hell was going on. I, I think he, like, didn't have any lights in his house, because... What I basically determined was that there wasn't anything wrong with his cable service, 
there was just the TV itself was broken. And so he like had people out to the house earlier that day to do the install, and they flat out said that the TV was broken. So I'm not exactly sure why he actually even bothered calling back. But, uh... <clears throat> point is, he just uh. wanted us to try and fix it, and I'm like, well, if the TV's bad, I really can't do anything about that. And, like, the only reason he wanted it was because he, he was going to use the TV as a light, because he had no other lights. And so I'm like, not even sure what to think about that, honestly. But, uh, the, like, I, my immediate thought is, of course, like, you know, you can have the TV on for a light anyway, even without cable. If the TV itself is broken, that sucks, but that's not our fault. And so he's talking about, like, trying to get a new one, and, like, he has to have somebody to come out. And he basically said, like, I don't know when I'm going to get the new TV, but when I do, I want someone to come out that same day and do it. And, like, I expect you to be able to do this. And I'm like, well, we really can't. Like, that's not possible. And he's just like, no, sir, you're wrong. It is possible. You just don't want to do it. And I'm like, no. I literally can't do that. It's not an option. Nobody would be able to set that up. Gonzalez, avenge me! Uh. Okay. Now that that's been dragged out long enough, um, point, this story isn't really going anywhere, but uh, to kind of wrap it up, we kind of go back and forth on this whole subject for a really long time. I'm basically telling him, like, look, I'm sorry. I know what you're asking me. Trust me, I do understand what you're saying, despite the fact that you keep saying I'm not getting it. But no, what you're asking is something that I can't do. You're basically saying that you want me to somehow set something up so that when you call in at a later date, we will be prepared to do an appointment for you at that time. And it doesn't work that way. And it's just like, if you worked in a hotel and the president came to stay, and all the rooms were taken. Would you turn him away, or would you find a way to give him a room? And I'm like... I don't know. I'd imagine we'd probably find space, but I don't know how that would work. Like, I see where you're getting at with this, but... A, you're not the president, and B, there's no way to get a same-day appointment, especially if you're calling in advance. Like, I don't know what you want me to do. And so, the best part of this call, though, was, um, there's a point where, basically, um, after going over this for a long enough time, he eventually just says, do you know what my name is? And I'm like, well, it's blah blah blah, right? Like, it had his name on the account, and he's like, I want you to watch the newspapers, because you have literally killed me. Like, I can't take this shit anymore. I'm done. I'm going to kill myself. And he hangs up. Anyway, I, getting back to the story later. No. Why? How? Assuming more dialogue, so I'll get back to that in a bit. <clears throat> Gasp. Okay, this is... I'm going to treat this as a group huh. So I have to do the voice of everybody in post and then layer them over each other, and it's going to be great. Huh? 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 Huzzah, I am back. Wraith. You idiots, god damn. And he dies. What? He ran away. I mean, wait, just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did we get shell winked? How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly flurry. So who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the shadow sirens you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her, I guess you came through this okay. No sweat, right? 
Uh, listen, Mario. Sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Oh. I didn't realize there was a question about that before. Okay. This is for you. I found it. In a bowl. Okay, I'll shut up. <clears throat> Art attack. I kind of remember that one. I'll have to be sure to use it at some point, because I don't really remember what it does. Actually, no, I do. I think that's actually kind of a cool move. Okay, so actual end of chapter. Again, still felt really short. Mario defeated the rogue who was still in standard appearance, and now some crystal stars, some stuff about stars, and off of friend Vivian, and what about the other two, and who cares? So, uh... <clears throat> now we get the Peach section and the Bowser section, so I get to completely annihilate my voice. And then I have to record Luigi Luigi's adventure after this, so that'll be fun. Vivian is so very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Oh, sorry, I gotta do this line. Gah! There we go. Great noise. Uh, okay, that was it. Anyway, I never did finish the story of the customer, but it, you, you heard the gist of it. Oh boy. Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not. Yes, sir, quite sure. We've heard all over research for a thousand years ago. The appearance of stealing power is definitely the weakening spells then. Finally, the treasure of legend. The ancient power of darkness will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep giving the crystal star research top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that middling scum. Got it, sir. Soon I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror! No one can stop me now. I will kneel before the X-Naught regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect, ideal world. Unless you're playing black version, and then it'll be a perfect, true world. Actually, I don't remember which is which, but whatever. Yes, a world made by me, about me, and for me. Gak ack Ack, ack, ack. Like, yeah, there's certain points when they laugh, and it just does not match the voice at all. Those are always the best moments. Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? Uh, I I'm conflicted. Huh? Long pause. What's wrong, Tech? You don't sing yourself. Which is more important, carrying out an order or protecting a critical person? I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I don't know what to do, really. What do you mean? No, never mind. Please forget my musings. I don't know why, it just makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, well, let's have a quiz. A quiz? Yeah, it'll be super fun. You can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. If not, <laughs> you'll perish. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Um, I guess I'll just pick the right answers on these, because if I, if I get any wrong, I have to redo the whole thing. I don't think there's any interesting dialogue. Actually, let me just see. <laughs> no. Please start again from the beginning. Okay, so yeah, nothing interesting. Correct. I don't really need to read these out, I don't think. To become a superhero. That sounds like one of the uh, 
Meverse Plaza things. My goal to the fu my goal for the future is to fly in space. I never understood those. I see this one. Tech, is this? Princess, please answer. I'm n apparently giving you multiple choice answers, but uh, it's not really made very clear, so you're just supposed to somehow guess. So yeah, um, again, if you don't know the answer here, this is the first point where it actually tells you this, and uh, you basically just have to guess it, and if you get it wrong, then you start the quiz over. So it's kind of an interesting way to lead into this, I guess. Hang out with it. I like the stupid answers. Flame sword. I think it's the stars, right? Yep, okay. You've correctly answered all five questions. Did you look at a walkthrough? Now you can use the communicator. Don't share any of that info. Wink, wink. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? I didn't tell you jack shit. You guessed it. See? Loopholes. Okay, I'm done. Could you send it? Sent to the president. That's all. You can go bugger off. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. Just not gonna read that line for some reason, because it wasn't interesting. Well, that was a short-lived page section. But it was definitely a important one for the plot, so that'll get over pass. Now do I get to completely destroy my voice in the Bowser section? That's the question. <clears throat> and the answer to that is going to definitely be yes. I dread what is about to happen. Also, as soon as I saw that thing, for some reason, all I could think of was a really, really bad, like, direct-to-e-shop, like, low-to-no-budget, funded-on-monopoly money WiiWare game. Like... I don't know why, it was just something about the way it looked. Anyway. My lord, I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Let's ride the cheap blip there, come on now. Weren't they already there? You there, two tickets, one great and evil king and one sweet young thing. Oh, <laughs> good gravy! Bowser! No. Well, they got past what the fish. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate! And Bowser's just gone. Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? Where the hell did he go? Oh. Again, weren't they already there? <coughs> well, here we go. After I am already dying, let's uh, make it worse. <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this, baby. I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. He's like half rock hawk. I'm not sure what's going on with this voice now. And it just vanishes. Wait, Lord Bowser, please! Ah! Oh. Now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. Special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch. What the hell is that? I'm going to fly uh, around in the fluffy clouds. That face. <coughs> huh? That don't sound good. What's that warning light? Oh, don't tell me. No. 
And do we get platforming section? I think we do. Yay, platforming section. Except it's an underwater level, so these aren't that great, but... <laughs> that swimming animation. Also good to see that we're following the usual Mario uh, fire underwater physics. That's always good. I never did complete Super Paper Mario, as I've mentioned before. I do remember there being a uh, underwater area with Bowser. I don't remember if you could use Fire Breath in that one, though. I just seem to remember using him into, like, ground pound stuff. I have become very large, and now touching things burns them for some reason. I'm just gonna waste this thing completely. Yup. Oh, what the hell is this? Where did they come from? <clears throat> so anyway, since I never finished the story, um... Basically, the guy, uh, like, threatened to kill himself over the fact that I basically told him that I couldn't do something. And again, keep in mind, I don't even know what the hell he was really wanting me to do. Because if it was a matter of, like, I need someone out right now, it's still not possible, but I can at least understand that. This was, I need someone out right now but not right now. I need someone out in a few days at an undisclosed time that I don't know yet. So, anyway, obviously that didn't work. Uh, basically said he was gonna kill himself because of me, hung up, so I call him back. He's just like, what do you want? And I'm like, um, I wanted to see if I could still do anything for you. And uh, it just, kind of got worse from there, honestly. I did eventually get him some kind of help, but, I mean, it was freaking stupid. I don't know what the hell. Anyway. Oog! <laughs> ah, chew. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Who's wog? It's Bowser the Koopa King. Who's wog? He'll eat us. Someone help. What the hell is that shit? Like, what even is that Rockhawk decal? It's just, like, a thing. I don't even know. There you are, Lord Bowser. Where are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Swimming. Really? Neat. As for me, Glitzville was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me. And then, the hot dogs. Oh, my gracious, Yamali. You have fun, too, hmm? <laughs> Lord Bears, is that a no? It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it, it's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now. That was a great now. I should do it again. Alright, well that's basically going to be the end of this episode, unless there's a uh, another cutscene here, which there usually is, but they tend to not be too long. So, let's see. Oh, it's a guy who never got a voice. Cool. So I will give him one. I can't believe it was a fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so far, Mom and I have sought the time of time if it's done. Did it be hard to feel it? Yes. Oh, well, it's okay to be in touch with feelings so bad. You bought a sign and ramble lot to do him in town and trip with the fire tanks. Hey, Mario, we need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Okay. And with that, I make my exit. Um, so, next time, I will be wandering Rogueport. Um, oh, pff, god damn it. Oh my goodness, Mario, would that be an email from Princess Peach? <clears throat> and, as always... My dear Mario, I finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It's the spirit of a demon. 
The Exnauts plan to revive this thousand-year-old monster. I dare you to find her if you can. The thing, the crystal stars. I don't know what the hell happened. Okay. Okay. The collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand-year door. They'll find the demon spirit, but the only thing that can keep it locked away is the crystal stars themselves. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please, Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plan. A ancient demon spirit. That's it. That's all you have to add. Okay. So yeah, like I said, next time I'll go to the door, I'll get attacked by Spinias or whatever the hell these are called. Um, level up Vivian, do jobs, look for star pieces. Honestly, I should probably do the pit again. Um, at least up to 50, and then I'll stop and save the rest of it for the end of the game. But uh, I'll shut up, because uh, next time we'll be doing all that, and you don't need me to talk about it now. So, uh, see you then, I suppose. Pooch and pants, a bezard, a pan of time.